<laughs> ew, it's, ew, I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are back in the kitchen and we are going to make Luna Girl some beef liver treats. Ugh. <laughs> so I'm not really looking forward to this recipe because I don't like liver, but I know that Luna loves liver and so I know that it's also a really healthy treat for her. So I'm going to sacrifice the smells and everything for my baby girl. So, okay, what you need is one pound of beef liver. I think you can use any type of liver you want if you want to use chicken livers, but I just got this from Albertsons. It's uh, ready to cook. It's already sliced, skinned, and deveined, and then they come in four little packages, like thinly sliced. So I'm going to cut these open and then like um, wash them, like take off some of the juices. I guess that's gonna help with the smell. So yeah, uh, the people online kind of warned of the smell. So if you wanna go ahead and like get some candles burning or essential oils or something like that when you're baking, um, I'm not really sure because this is going to be the first time that we're making it, but I'm just assuming it's going to stink. <laughs> I think Lena is already very interested, but she's also very interested in everything that I do. So, let's see. Oh, yummy. Liver. Liver and onions. Hey, we're not going to eat this raw. No. I know that you can, I, th I think dogs could probably eat this raw, but we're not gonna do that. Hey, 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 stop it. <laughs> oh, you sicko. Hey, that's gross. No, do it, no, 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 okay. So we're just gonna give this a little rinse. And then we are going to use a food processor to basically like blend this liver into like a puree. So that's gonna be gross as well. <laughs> ew, it's, ew, I don't know. Does anybody like liver? Like is there anybody out there that still eats like liver and onions? Mom, I think you did when you were a kid, right? Ah. Let me know in the comments if you like liver and onions because look at this girl. She is freaking loving this. Okay, no, 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 you can't go in there. Okay, so I'm going to blend this up, but in addition to the liver, we're gonna put two whole eggs. And this is gonna be the first time that I am giving her eggshells, but I guess it's a healthy thing. So you can put, or give your dogs the eggshells too. So I'm just gonna crack the egg and then put the eggshell in to blend with the liver. So there's the eggs and the eggshells. I don't like eggs either. <laughs> I'm really weird. I don't like eggs at all in any shape or form. And then we're just gonna blend this up. So beware of the sound. It's pretty blended. Okay. I'm also going to add some turmeric. So turmeric is really healthy for humans and dogs. So I'm just gonna add like a teaspoon. It's really good for like inflammation and things like that. So I'm just gonna add a teaspoon and then re-blend it really quick. Okay, Lena, are you ready? So now we have to just mix this mixture with our flour. So I'm gonna use 
um, whole wheat flour here and then we are going to bake. So let's preheat the oven to 300 degrees. Okay, so I've got my bowl here. Now Luna, let's pour the mixture. Ready? Oh goodness. Licky, licky. Yes, I know you like it. Oh my goodness, you like this way too much. Oh my goodness. Hey, okay. Yeah, we gotta save some for the mixture. Luna, come on. Okay, so that's that. There's a little bit of eggshell, stop. There's a little bit of eggshell like chunks in there, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, back up. Oh, look at your liver face, gross. You're not giving me any kisses with that face. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this a little far out of her reach while I measure out my flour. So we're gonna do about two cups of flour. I'm using whole wheat flour, but you can use regular flour if that's all you have. Whoopsie, I just dumped a bunch in there. Oh, I'm just gonna... <laughs> ah, that was the end of my flour, so I'm just dumping it all in. But you should probably measure it and do two cups. I'm going to use a spatula to mix it all together. This is crazy how much she likes this liver. I think it's, it's insane. I mean, I know she goes crazy for the liver treats that we get in the pup box, but to eat it raw, ugh, that's gross. So anyways, I wanted to ask everyone um, what you guys are doing for 4th of July. We are celebrating kind of like all weekend. Um, we are going to a puppy birthday party. Ah, come on, Luna. Uh, we're going to a puppy birthday party tomorrow for um, a dog. His name's Philly. He's a golden doodle and he's turning one, so we're really excited about that. Never been to a dog birthday party, so I'm not really sure what to expect. If you've been to a dog birthday party, like comment below and let me know, like how, how does this work? Because I feel like getting dogs to like all do the same thing, like she said that there's gonna be games, so I'm like, how are these games gonna work? <laughs> I'm really curious. So I'll film everything and that'll be one of our next videos is the puppy birthday party. Um, but it's gonna be at nighttime, like 7.30. So hopefully it'll still be like light enough that we can get some good footage of like what happens at this birthday party. But um, we're gonna give Philly some of these treats that we're making today as one of his presents. And they're gonna have cake and dog treats, I think, for probably treats for humans and doggies. So I'm excited. And then on the 4th of July, we're gonna go over to our friend's house who's having a pool party. Okay, so now I mixed up the liver. It actually doesn't smell as bad as I thought it was gonna smell. Um, liver and flour and egg. And now, really excited about these we have these super cute molds oh my gosh so I know in the past I've shown you guys the cookie cutters which you are totally welcome to use in this case or you can just take the dough and roll it into little balls and bake but we're gonna use these little silicone shapes here and I got these off of Amazon. I'll post the link below. These are okay for the oven and they're also um, good to use for freezing. So we'll probably do another video. One of our friends shared a fruit um, treat recipe that she used with these uh, molds. And so that's how I ended up getting these molds. But I just haven't gotten around to making the fruit treats yet so we'll probably do that soon as well um life i feel like has just gotten a little bit busier since the world kind of started opening up again and 
we've just been busy so um haven't been very good at posting i'm sorry if you guys know this we do post every friday so i'm trying my best we're going to uh, continue to post every friday and then we're also going to announce at the end of this video who are our winners for our bandana giveaway so stay tuned to the end of this video okay so i'm going to attempt to put these this in the mold so let's see how it goes So I'm just taking a little bit of the mixture and then just kind of shoving it into the mold, the mold. And then, like I said, if you don't have mold, you could just roll it into a little ball, plop it onto a baking sheet and then bake. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes at 300 degrees. Okay, the timer just went off for the treats, so I'm going to pull them out of the oven. Luna, stay. I put, oh my goodness, the funk, the top, oh my gosh, you know how I was talking about it didn't smell that bad before? Well, it's when you bake them. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pull out those ones because I put these ones in a little later. They have to cook some more, but... Here we are, we're just gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to see how they turned out on the other side with the paw prints and everything and see how Luna Girl likes them. I wanna show you how they turned out. So here are little bones. They are not the prettiest, I will have to admit but you can make them pretty if you want to give them as a gift so the bone shape did turn out pretty good on this side but you can just see there's like a lot of excess and then the back is not perfectly flat but you can definitely just like trim the little excess and then it'll be like a nice bone and that it will look really cute. So that's for the bones. And then for the little paw prints, we got like a decent paw print here, but it's the same thing. So like I wasn't really like perfect when I was putting the mixture in. So there's like a little excess on the side. So you just trim that off, it's really easy. And you could always use this little scraps as topper you know, when you, for your food, for your dog's food, you just sprinkle it on top, kind of like a little extra flavor. So yeah, I think they turned out pretty cute. The molds are really nice. I do like the molds a lot. Okay, so we're gonna weigh to see how much treats we have. So that's full weighs seven point, wait, so then we just zero it out. Okay, I have, all of these treats here and then I also have another tray wow okay just under a pound so let's say we got about a pound I already gave Luna <laughs> I already gave her one. So let's say we got a pound for about five bucks. Luna, do you want a treat? Sit. Sit. <gasps> Good girl. Do you like the treat? You want it? You want a treat? Do you like it? Oh, good girl. I think she likes it. All right. Thanks for watching. Now stay tuned to see who our winners are. Okay guys, here we are. We're going to start our random selection for the bandana giveaway. So let's push start here and let's see who our first winner is. Brittany Reeves, congratulations. You are our first winner. Okay. 
Nell B, you are our second winner. Congratulations. And she has a dog named Luna, too. Oh, my gosh. Such a popular name. Natalie, but... Okay, I'm not going to even try. Natalie, you are our third winner. Congratulations for her puppy, Levi. Deborah Capron, congratulations. You are our fourth winner. Gabby, you are our fifth winner. Yay for Pixie. And Scarlett, you are our sixth winner. So congratulations to everyone for um, winning today. If you didn't win, please don't be discouraged. We have plenty of other giveaways to do um, for all of our puppies, so stay tuned, and I'm sure you'll win something one of these days. We have tons of stuff to give away. So once again, congratulations, everyone that won. Please reach out to me at my email address, J-E-N-F-O-X at me.com, and I will be mailing out your bandanas to you once you email me your home address, all right? So thank you so much for watching. We hope that your doggy likes these liver treats and I hope that the winners enjoy their pet bandanas. So we'll see you next time, next Friday. All right, bye-bye.